Hello and welcome back to the Excel Tip videos. Today in this video, we will show you how to use the today function in Microsoft Excel. Excel today function returns the serial number of the current date and it automatically refreshes the date whenever the worksheet recalculates. Today function is one of easy yet powerful function in Microsoft Excel. You can use this function in various forms. So we type today function here in cell B8 and then we hit tab to auto complete the function. As you can see, it does not take any argument, but it requires parenthesis. And when we close the parenthesis and hit enter, function returns the current system date, which is 14th October 2015 in this case. However, if you change the system date, the function would recalculate and would return the new date accordingly. But the function will calculate each time when a cell value is entered or changed in the worksheet. And if you have a last set of data, in that case, there are high chances that it may slow down your work as well. Also, the date returned by the today function will be changed if you close the workbook and come back tomorrow and reopen as worksheet recalculate each time they are open. In the next example, uh, let's calculate the number of days passed in this year 2015. So we enter today function here in cell B9 and after we close the parenthesis, you can see there's a date in cell A9 which is 1st January 2015. So we subtract the current date from the date mentioned in A9 and then we hit enter. Function returns date value instead of returning an integer. That's because it is automatically formatted in date format. So when you change the format to general or number, it would return 286 as answer. Okay. Now we move on to the third example and this time we want function to add 14 days to the current date and return. So in a similar way, we enter today function and then we say plus a 10 which has a value of 14 and we hit enter. Function returns the day after two weeks from today's date which is 28th October 2015 in this case. In the forthcoming examples, you will learn how you can format the current date to display only present day, current month or current year in the cell. So we enter today function here in cell B11 and then we hit enter. Okay, now we do right click on B11, go to format cells and then click on custom from the number tab and then uh, we move to the right. Okay, now here in type, let's clear everything and type dd and you would see that the sample is getting changed when we type three times d it is returning short name of the day but we want the number of days so let's have only two d's as day format and then we click ok and it returns with an integer 14 representing today's day in a similar way you can get number of months and year as well so first we do it to get the number of months we right click here and then format cells custom and here this time we write mm to return number of months from today's date and then we click on ok function gives 10 which represent the month of october in a calendar year and if you change the format from double m to triple m the function returns with the short month name october so this is how you can change the format as per the requirement and make your data looks better likewise we do it for year And we enter y, 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 and click on OK. And it returns the current calendar year 2015. Apart from the given examples, this function is also useful in case you want to display the current date somewhere in your reports on worksheet, regardless of when you open the report. So this is how today function works and can be used in different ways in Excel. We hope you found this lesson informative. Stay tuned and keep learning with us. Thank you and have a nice day.